Years, brought to you by American National Bank. October 14th, 2017. It was the last time we saw him on a football field in Denton. Nearly 40 years since Hayden Fry last coached a game for then North Texas State. The Mean Green capped off a celebration of the past with a celebration in the present. Fry touchdown! With 10 seconds remaining. It was a fun night. And just 24 hours before, Coach Fry explained that that's the way football was supposed to be. You gotta make football a game of fun to enjoy. It's a game. And that's what we did. And we, here at North Texas, it was so great. After Coach Fry passed away December 17, 2019, it was fitting his family held a celebration of life. A life that started in Eastland, Texas 90 years before. A celebration of his time as a Marine, a coach, and a father. I've heard some of you say before that to you, Hayden Fry was more than just a coach, a mentor, a friend, or a colleague. He was the foundation for so many people's success. But to me, Hayden Fry was just my dad. Several times that I talked to him, I'll never forget, he said, John Kelly, he said, don't become a coach. He said, it's, it's a hard life. It's a job with a lot of pressure. And I always remember that. But you and I both know that being a coach was truly what he wanted to do. Just down the road from Frisco at North Texas, Kelly Fry played on one of those Hayden-led Mean Green teams. Coach Fry's reclamation project at North Texas from 1973 through 1978 was his springboard to his college Hall of Fame status at Iowa. But his time as a student at Baylor University is what laid the groundwork for leading a football team. I got my master's in behavioral psychology and I knew at each school where I became a head coach, I had the greatest psychological advantage in the world because I inherited a group of young men who had their tail kicked, told they were losers, they couldn't win. And they're the easiest people in the world to motivate because they want to show people they, that they could win. We practiced next to I-35 uh, up in Denton. And I don't think I was the only person that this was told to, but I was surprised that no one from North Texas, I was missing the block, missed it again, stood up. I don't think he grabbed my face mask, Chuck, but he looked at me and said, Henry, if you miss this block one more time, I'm gonna put you on I-35 with a road map and an apple and point your ass towards Gainesville. You got that? We're gonna tee the football up. We wanna be number one in the nation. Somebody's gotta be number one, why can't we? Coach Fry posted winning records in four of six seasons at North Texas, which included many signature wins, including a 24-13 victory over SMU at Texas Stadium in 1977. First thing, men, and you are men, you proved that tonight, you gave as great an effort any ball club I've ever been associated with. And I know every coach on the staff would say the same thing. Coach Fry is in the North Texas Hall of Fame, the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame, and the College Football Hall of Fame. Although football was his life, Coach Fry knew life was more than football. The things that you have accomplished as a husband, a father, as well as a football player is so inspirational in all of the coaches' lives that have been associated with you, we thank you. You played with great enthusiasm. You played with your heart. If it doesn't hurt you to lose, you shouldn't be on this ball club. Because we blew it. We had our chance. Just eliminate a few of the mistakes, and we get it. That's all. But it's gone forever. You did yourself proud. You hustled your tail off, and that's all I've ever asked of you and all the coaches. We love every one of you. We played for the marbles, and we lost. You're great people. We'll win it next year. We'll win it next year.